What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. Today we're going to be doing a quick walk around on my 2021 Eco Diesel Jeep Wrangler and answering a couple questions that have come up in the comments like how have I managed to fit 40 inch tires on my Jeep JL? So we're going to do a quick walk around. I'm going to show you some of the modifications that I've done, uh, trimming arches, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so one of the most prominent things I did to fit the 40 inch tires on this Jeep is going to be in the rear fender wells. I definitely cut here. I cut quite a big chunk off of there and I've been basically continuing to trim out sections um, of the rear fender uh, well right there. I will cut you. I also have super, super uh, high clearance rear fenders um, that are cut. Uh, same on the front as well, as you can see. There's not much fender, so uh, there's not much problem with uh, with things rubbing. Same go same goes on the back. On this side, again, same sort of cutting uh, going on there. Um, again, you can see this is trimmed right down, uh, right in there, right up to the body. So I've done quite a substantial amount of cutting. Uh, the lift on this thing is a three and a half inch uh, JKS um, off the shelf lift kit, but I have made some modifications to it that has made it uh, slightly more than a three and a half inch kit. Um, I do have some, uh, some spacers on top of the coils there, which does help me get the front end up just a little bit more um, to clear those 40s. Other than that, uh, the only thing I've really done is I've beefed up my axles. Um, this thing has, because it's the Eco Diesel, it does have the Dana 44 axles front and rear. Um, which is a, a massive plus. Um, we've trussed the front axle here and we've put uh, an ox locker in the front end and we've done a bunch of beefing up with the metal cloak uh, steering components, um, which I can show you. So under the front end of this thing, uh, you'll see a lot of gold. Uh, everything gold is metal cloak and we absolutely love uh, metal cloak. They make absolutely fantastic products. Um, even have the metal cloak baller joints which are uh, uh, absolutely phenomenal fully adjustable load bearing uh, top and bottom uh, ball joints we've got the rcv axles and we went ended up going with the ox locker which is the mechanical version so uh which i can show you uh, in a little bit here but yeah full adjustable control arms metal cloak suspension three and a half inch jks coil Currently do have uh, the spacer in there, which will be coming out fairly shortly um, and being replaced by a proper uh, a proper coil. Um, as you can see, we do have uh, hydraulic bump stops in there. But those are cheap Chinese bump stops and they ended up not working that well. I'm sorry, I should have listened. So now they're just uh, a static bump stop. I bled all the... Uh, oil and air out of them and now they're just a static bump stop. Um, I've had a lot of comments about my rear bumper. Um, this is custom. I did pretty much make this myself although it did start out life as another company's brand um, and I did, uh, did some modifications to it to fit what I needed. Other than that it's pretty much uh, pretty much as she sits. Oh, before we went to Moab there last month, we did do a uh, chassis um, bob. So I ended up uh, actually cut two and a half inches out of the front frame rails of the Jeep, um, which just pushes the, uh, the winch back under the grill a bit more and gives you a bit better approach angle uh, for hitting steps and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, uh, there's the Jeep JL in all of her glory. All right, so let's do a little bit of a walk around the interior of the JL, starting with the back. So as you can see, it's pretty much stock. Obviously we've done a rear tire delete. Um, I don't have a spare 40 kicking around anyway, so um, we just ended up going with the, the spare tire delete. Um, saves weight. I don't like having a bunch of weight up on the, up on the top of the Jeep anyway um, for rock crawling it. No, I don't like that. Um, so everything's pretty much factory back here. Got cargo net installed, but the one thing that we did have uh, that I did install was the uh, hard-mounted air compressor setup here. 
Um, this is a compressor by a company called Bully Dog. Um, it's fairly, fairly budget. Um, you can pick them out, up at any kind of, well, we're in Canada, so Lord Co. Um, it's a couple hundred bucks for it, but it puts out a decent amount of CFM. And um, I can have the entire Jeep aired up in about 15 minutes, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, it's hard mounted in here. And then when you want to actually connect your uh, your line, um, I actually installed that, um, which is super chill. Basically, just get your, your line, plug it on there, go into the front, the auxiliary buttons. I hit wired it up number one hit that you're you got air all day so that's what i did there in the rear here uh we mounted a racing bucket seat uh for our kid she's eight and she loves coming out wheeling um <clears throat> we did the rear seat delete recently and she didn't like that obviously because there was no spot for her to sit so i made a custom uh bracket for this seat that i had kicking around and um yeah she's she's stoked with that we actually have a prp racing harness to go in there as well um, which is going to be you'll see later on in the video uh we did the carpet delete because we were out on the rubicon trail last year with our good friend metal hook mike and he took us across this gnarly water crossing and the carpets got wet and they never did dry out properly so we just took them out anyway so um we're now in the front of the jeep um, one of the notable things is that I've custom wrapped the dash white to match the exterior of the Jeep, and we love it. it. It's it just brightened up the dash and made everything way nicer to be. And I, I I'm not quite sure why it had such a, such an effect, but it did. Um, Molly panel up top for the radios. Got a fire extinguisher above your head, which is nice and close to you. Um, and then the other thing I was going to show you guys is the aux locker uh cable actuated um engagement knob whatever we want to call it which i actually mounted uh right down here in the foot compartment um so whenever you want to engage your locker you grab that pull up the little sleeve and um pull it back and yeah it works great on uh on the trails we absolutely love it um yeah so if you've got any questions or comments about that please do let me know um other than that Got the best top um, on the top. We love that. Uh, the panels come off super quick and easy. Um, we can just roll around like this when it's sunny and it's not raining. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the walk around on the 2021 Eco Diesel Jeep Wrangler. Um, please stay tuned. We got lots of cool stuff coming up on the channel. Um, if you like what we've done here today, please uh, do subscribe and hit the notification button. And uh, share our stuff around uh the more support we have the more uh these cool videos we can make for you guys uh thanks again for watching you guys and we'll see you next time <music>